facilitated grappling. They will never leave Eurasia alive. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pixel Shaded Grappling's Cosmodrome Clash. Hello, Zach. We are coming to you live from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, where our jet, due to a time-space kerfuffle, has crash-landed. And weekend warriors did not take kindly to that, because apparently Kazakhstan is their turf. And so now we must have a fight... A series of matches. Bosses will fight bosses. Champions will fight champions. And then we'll just go our separate ways, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really thought this one out. Anyway, let us get right into it. First up is get the our opening contest is gonna be me versus Dana White. Uh, all rules are gonna be under shoot fight rules. Trick rules, fast counts, blah 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 blah. Oh, I can't change the arena. Alright. Yeah, can't shoot script. This is all just going. It's just going. I think PCO is refereeing this. But since I am the promoter, I will also be doing the fighting. Somebody said my uh, created wrestler looks a lot like Rugal, so I figured why not use a version of his AOF 98 theme for this. Here is Dana White, the wife slapping, slap league creating, constantly living in denial, fake Bostonian. You must think his lucky stars Vince is in so much trouble, otherwise people will be looking at his dumb, stupid ass. Welcome to the special interpromotional contest between Weekend Warriors and Maple Leaf Grappling. First representing Weekend Warriors, please welcome Dana White! Disgusting, despicable move. Representing Maple Leaf Grappling, please welcome Ace Diamond! I'm PCO of Federation Online, and I'm here to be an impartial referee. I mean, uh, fine. Stakes are high, but let's keep this a fair contest to find out which promotion is best. Also, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I couldn't set this in the hangar like I wanted to. I just realized I don't even have the life bars on this, so it's just going to be whatever it is. Anyway, Dana, you Uncle Fester-looking ass bastard. I probably... You must feel very lucky that your, uh... Fucking Gomez Adams doppelganger got in just as much... Got in much more trouble than you did recently. And, in fact, is gone. I feel, like I, I feel like I'm talking too much shit and getting hit too much. Ow, my head. I wonder if I can turn on eh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know how badly I'm doing now. Rope. Right! It's a shoot fight, so I think it's KO, submission. Right! Warrior trunks. This is very embarrassing, I have to admit. <laughs> again, I'm not much of a fighter in real life, so... I guess this is what I get. But I figured we'd be about evensies. There we go! Head scissors! Anyway, more shit about you. Uh, right, you ran away from Massachusetts because you thought the Winter Hill Gang was gonna kick your ass. 
not even, like I said, you're not even from Boston, you're from Connecticut. You slapped your, you slapped your wife and somehow nobody cared about that. You slapped your wife on live TV. Should we, should we mention that? You created a league called the Dana White Power Slap League. Where people just basically concuss each other with no protection. Drivers. Blood is rushing to my head. Blacking out, blacking out. You trying to do a top rope move in a shoot fight? Let's pick up. Ow. Might be out. Nope, I still. I can still fight. Oh shit, caught the super kick. Good luck, takeover. I I shouldn't have given myself that club kick now. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> I got. On the plus side, I'm not being investigated for crimes. On the downside, I got my ass absolutely destroyed. In a way, has raised the profile of UK Game Warriors. Uh, this time, has damaged the reputation of Maple Leaf really Grappling. Well, hey. And now, our open round question mark versus Bill Goldberg. Oh, yeah, I did not do well. We are going to put in. Yeah, Bebo Cross X. I trust him to put on a good fight, you know, as opposed to what I was doing. Yeah, hey, it's me. I'm back out here after getting several uh, contusions to the head. JR and Brother Love on commentary? That's just weird. That is weird, y'all. Yeah, hug it out. Newest question, Dave. You compare two characters or a video game together as hockey partners. Who do you choose? Uh, I'm gonna need some time to think about that. Welcome to the special and promotional. Jesus Christ. We already know about this. Yep. Yep. Bill Goldberg. If we, uh, Evo Crosshanks. Outlaw in the Wrestling Revolution. God jacking. Okay. Okay, we can stop hugging it out. Christ. Oh shit, I accidentally hit myself. Well, now I'm in control as the man. Which is. Well, you. I'm not finished. I had the star ratings on, but I guess not. Well, I will never know how we're doing. Unless there, actually, I just realized there were no star ratings shown, so I don't think star ratings are even a thing in this match or this contest. So how in the world do you d determine a thing between three on three? for the dynamite. I gotta use this. Create out some Lady Dimitris here. Yes, my beautiful plan has worked! That's necessarily odd good. And a cutter. I would say... I 
see. Is it an odd couple of partners? Are we talking like Mario and Wario? I mean, Mario and Wario just feels like the obvious. Well, great. This is spilled out. This is spilled outside. The Same. Duke Nukem and Solid Snake would be an amusing combination. Jesus Christ, torture pack. A shoot fight contest, but I don't, you know, intend to play by them shoot fight rules. Oh, but I had, what I had initially been asking is, by odd couple, did you mean like with the opposite gender or like the actual odd couple sitcom? But then you answered Mar, but then you put in Mario and Wario, which kind of answered the thing. Also, Dana. I think I'm just getting myself in more and more trouble. Duke Nukem and Solid Snake would be an, would be an interesting lineup. One is incredibly not stealthy, incredibly loud, ego-driven, and uh, you guys forget how to fight. I guess not. The other one is, well, the other one is Solid Snake. I think the only thing they have in common is smoking. And probably the, an appreciation for the Colt 45. Oh, no, wait, that was a big bus. Either way, appreciation for firearms. No, pedigree. Put that in there. Well, that's clear. Come on, Raph. Right. Electric chair. Oh, countered. Oh, no, countered again. Styles clash. Goldberg wins that one. A slightly better, well fought contest than what I had uh, given at least. Nice picture. Dana White has become friendly. I'm disappointed. Well, I see a spectacle days down, but that match made quite a mess of the arena. When has Goldberg ever done a pedigree or style slash? Exactly. If you want to book this venue again, you better hit $2,000 towards the damages. Jim, I don't think you quite understand. It's the Baikonur Cosmodrome. There's a lot of stuff already broken. Hell, we're hell, we're fighting out of a hangar that used to house a Baran shuttle before the ceiling collapsed. But fine, here's $2,000 of your own damn money. How's that government's hard up for cash ever since uh, they broke out, since they stopped that deal with Roscosmos? Lightway round, aka the women's round. Yeah, that's that's good. We're gonna go with that. Hamrock <laughs> Shooter, our new women's champion, as of the previous show. Hot dog. Who do we 
have on commentary is what is it, Vince Russo and Blue Demon Jr. Yep, we know, we know. Sable. Wow, Sable Rude. Mark Shooter. DCO. Stakes are high. Fair contest. And me stepping out. I promise I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I said I'm leaving. 1031. Oops. I apologize, PCO. I can't see where I'm going. Trying to move it. It's weird because I have to move in the context of where I'm at. Of where my targeting is. Thank you. Trying to find this hot dog. Found the hot dog. Nom 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 nom. Food break. Pretty evenly matched so far, it looks like. Oh, nope. Goes, gets in the clinch. Big spear. Getting the elbow in there. And there's... Dana White being Dana White. Seems our amount of interference has been excellent. Thank you, PCO. Ladder and a starting a hook and ladder, but decided not to follow through. Goes to a hammer lock. Good, I got his attention. Oh no! All I was saying was I was hungry. Oh shit. Fuck you. Another 1031. Spear. In the guard position. An arm breaker. Big power slam. Looks to be put it looks to finish it right here. Or back away. Come on. Another spear. Just keep doing spears. Might actually win this one. Wheels out of the way, off the ropes, big clothesline. And Rock Shooter showing surprising agility despite her size. And that is why she finally managed to capture the women's title. Lauren Cameron. Got uh, Sable in the bow and arrow, followed up by a rear naked choke with the body scissors. And then there was that. Tried to reverse it into a pin, but pins do not count in these fights. Big body slam. Hit the ropes. Cool looking staggered. And out of the ring, into that ladder, face first. Ref counts three. They will back in at a four count, is immediately slammed back in. And that's it. Hemrock Shooter takes it and it is now two to one favor of Weekend Warriors. Look, Dana White disappointed, happy.
Welcome to Tall United Higher Journey 2500, whereas I, Flex Beanbag, am only getting 1500 per appearance. I said you should be moving things up by paying me that much, or we'll see who's more important to the show. I could argue you're not important at all, but... Fine, I'm honoring your contract. Or honoring contract extension. Ah, whatever. Like I said, it ain't my money. The tag team round... Which, uh, oh damn, that changed. I don't know what changed or why. I keep, wait, what? Game's getting a little, game's getting a little messed up. All right. <laughs> Fools Goldberg and, uh, Mark Henry. Why not? I want who was initially in there. Fools Goldberg. I can just change who the competitors are. In terms of tag teams, eh. I, mean, I could put in my tag champs. I probably should. And I will. Dango Warrior, Curry Too Spicy, you guys are up. Oh, I can't change the past. I really want who it was before. Mark Marrow and Harley Race now. Lashley and Beaumont now. Butterbean and Bobby Lashley now. It'd be, yes. All right, you want to... Okay, it. Fuck it, this will work. I just wanted somebody with custom sound uh, sounds. Of course, if he doesn't come out first, then it doesn't work. Oh, good. Flash Norton and Chris Cyborg. Probably going to get VOD muted for this. I have literally been sitting on that joke for a while. Scott Flash Norton. And here's Yatai no Sentai, the food truck task force, who's already started beating each other up. Excellent. We're off to a great start here. Great start here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the special promotional contest. On the side, we'll have the Maple Leaf Grappling Team, Sentai. Side with the Weekend Warriors Team. Jake the Snake Roberts of All-American Wrestling, and apparently you trust me to be an impartial referee. You trust me. Your know stakes are high. I don't play 21. I got 22. Let's keep this fair contest. Figure it out! Goes behind for the flash pin with flash backslide pin, but ref is out of position and has destroyed his legs. Oh, they tried to go for a doomsday. Tried to go for a power bomb, gets turned into a go go plata. And Chris Cyborg punches the Dango Warrior right in his Dango balls. How does it, how does a shoot fight tag tag shoot fight work? I mean, I'm sure they've invented that somewhere in Poland or another European country, but hey, Roberts just throwing microphones all over the place. Dango Warrior trying to go strike for strike with Flash Norton. Curry too spicy. This is the legal man. Luthes press what? Lock takeover. Punches in. Cyborg drops a knee. And. 
and this is a very intense stare down finally Norton moves out of his corner now he's distracted by the Dango warrior moving moving uh, tools around runs in oh it was ba <laughs> it was an incredible baiting by Curry too spicy flipping Flash Norton out of the ring arm drag right onto the broker means that ladder that's how you know Sentai has attempted subterfuge not working out very well Things are sort of breaking down here. Gut wrench suplex. I heard too spicy. Jake Roberts trying to restore order. Throwing hands at the Dango Warrior. Side headlock takeover. I'm up for the electric chair drop. Maybe. Yes. made to Chris Cyborg who jumps off the top rope with a knee to the very too spicy space. Taken over the Dango. This is. Stupid! Oh no! Oh, she's attacking my distrucity! Big one-handed bulldog off the off the springboard. Might be uh, going. This might be going hilariously wrong. What the fuck was that? Trying to do a Northern Lights suplex. It became a Northern Lights to Moon Salt. And an Enziguri to the face. Pinballs in this? This should really make no sense. Great! Right. Your tag belt. Still my tag belt back. There it is. <laughs> it's either a Nokia or Red Shoes, but he's decided that whatever's going on here is a bunch of bullshit. 
that. Big flipping drop kick. Gonna look at the rules. Right. Yeah, I guess I didn't come out as manager. Dead leg. <laughs> Dana White gets head scissored back into the ring. Uh, this bodes poorly. Oh, Ow, my neck, the stunner. Kicks out, fortunately. You can't see me. Six minutes left of this match. It doesn't end in a draw. Oh boy. Right. Sleeper hold, no, nothing doing there. Big splash. And again. Oh. Ow. Too spicy back in. Five minutes left with this tag match. think anyone has ever said holy shit for a scoop slam. Flash Norton, a much fresher person is in. Not very too spicy favoring his knee. Oh no. Inside cradle. A pin, I, got, I got taken out by a flash pin. I think the best we can manage is a 3 3 side at this point. King of Warriors' attitude is dropping like a stone. Alright, middleweight round. Next box versus Bad News Barrett. Here we go. Now I know y'all be 
loving this shit right here. X P A C X Pac. This right here. newest television champion having won it off of Hecklehorn at our last show and here comes Bad News Barrett chair to deliver some bad news. Welcome to this special interpromotional... Oh, wait, no, this is Brother Love. Interpromotional concept between Weekend Warriors and Maple Leaf Grappling. I love y'all. First representative Weekend Warriors, Bad News Barrett. Representing Maple Leaf Grappling, X-Pac. Oh, Jim Ross. I'm Jim Ross, a silent style wrestler. I'm here to bring an impartial referee. I want to see a good, clean fight, y'all. Boomer Sooner. Um, yep, that's a fight, all right. Jim Ross tries to clothesline Dana White. This is horribly. Right. Right. Hasn't taken his middleweight title off yet. Arm drag into a step over arm breaker. Come on, Xbox, you had all that martial arts stuff. Why don't you just use that? each other in the middle of this fight. Also, Jesus Christ. Xbox been in, been in a whole arm hold for like a minute. Oh, thank God. That's a... Wait, no, no, it's not. Jesus Christ. F5 onto the title belt. I don't, I don't think we're winning this one. Sidewalk slam, Jesus Christ. Damn, Xbox, did you not like you're not coming to fight today? That's all right. Headlock. A lot of punch in there. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Countered into a countered into a backdrop, sending Bad News Barrett out of the ring. Possibly giving X Pac a bit of a reprieve, even though he now has to fight Dana White by giving him a sunset flip. And Bad News Barrett clocks Jim Ross right in the face with his kick there. A shitty little Robert De Niro kick. Whoop! And out I go again. Right. That's a rope break. Who broke there? Is that tax? How do you pause that? The headlock takeover. Battling back here. Will it be enough? Oh, Jimerson there. I don't know how the hell all these people from other promotions knew about this enough stuff in Viking here, but here we are.
big hand. Yep, bad news Barrett takes that one, kind of figured. This, uh, this damage to our rep is not going to be good considering, uh, Fans in Kazakhstan have rejected Weekend Warriors' attempts to smash Bad News Barrett over. Xbox damage reputation. E how come I be Windsor has the insurance and I don't? Is it just you even things up by giving me the same terms or we'll see who's more important? Yeah, sure. Why not? Have your health insurance. I'm glad you're I mean, you are the world champion. It'd be very silly for me not to do that. Speaking of, final, final battle here. Bonesaw and Beaumont. A one-on-one. -on -one. Another ten-minute shoot fight. And whoever, whoever last show said that wrestlers don't do well in shoot fights was not wrong. Present here. I mean, we could we could maybe pull out a moral victory here. I think maybe. A special interpromotional contest between Weekend Warriors and Maple Leaf Grappling. Maple Leaf Warriors welcome Beaumont. And representing Maple Leaf Grappling, please welcome Bones. I'm Scally of Wrestling, Le Wrestling Revolution. I'm here to be an impartial reference. Thanks are high. Blah, blah. I swear I'm going in blind. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to even the odds by kicking Beaumont right in the back of the head. Headlock takeover. Off to a great start. Got it. He's got a belt. Stop him. It ultimately would have been hilarious if that had ended. Boomsaw came ready to get in there. Brings back off the ropes with a nice neck breaker. Go behind. Got him in the back mount position and punching him right in the back of the head. Things donkey style here. Doing the kind of things neck breaker that would get Vince in. Rested and fired from his job like what just happened. Can't mention boost that light company in the rock if we want to stay on Twitch. Now he's already already going big. What was that? That was like that was like faint. That was like faint. Rolling elbow. Oh, got him. Oh. of Jericho. Right! That NDA signing son of a bitch. He does have some good moves. Oh, flipped him over. Get out. Down again. He jumped it. One hell of a fight reputation of my promotion on the line here. Right. Copying headlock takeovers on the outside. Beaumont just absolutely getting destroyed here. But still in it. Oh, gets hit again with another spinning elbow. to 
to this. Is that it? Nope. I don't need no tea. It's just bare handed. Oh god. Come on, fighting back now. Bone saw with the block. Body slam, step over arm breaker. Still not it. Oh my got some pretty good resilience going here. <laughs> Jeez, absolutely nothing. That does it. Look at that boom, you hit me with to win the match. You were already gonna lose anyway, anyway Broheim. I knew you could never beat me. Without a boom saw. Mm -hmm. Damage reputation. Wow, wow. almost 10,000 fans. I think that's the most fans we've ever gotten. Okay. Boom saw raised the profile. I'm happy. Kim Warriors have fended off Maple Leaf Grappling in Kazakhstan after winning four matches. Please let me actually go somewhere this time. And we'll send it. Send. See how the ratings shift out. Yep, they had a bit of a ratings jump. And we are still, still at the top of the game here. See how much money we may have. Okay. Alright, we just 32,000 expenses. And we made quite a bit. It's like a little less than 40,000, I think. Where are we going this time? Hopefully, where I actually want to go. I know. So. Again, my big plan is trying to get back to Canada. Wow, Alaska really not a big fan of Chris Cyborg. We are going to the southeast US of A. For being exposed to their own product, fans of Japan have developed a preference for countouts and a distaste for heels. Okay. Their spoken skills have deteriorated considerably in recent weeks. Fight erupted backstairs between Lam Rock Shooter and Bruno San Martino, leaving them both bruised up. Lam Rock Shooter was once a disciple of Bruno San Martino, and it is. Things are not looking good there. Ivy Windsor has failed to turn up at the arena, will not be available for this week's show. Juventud Guerrero has left Super Lucha Libre to go to Rising Sun Puresu. That juice is going across the pond. Amelia has left Super Lucha Libre to also go to Rising Sun Puresu. After being exposed to Federation Online's product, fans in Antarctica have developed a preference for time limits and a distaste for intruders. Uh huh. That reminds me, I gotta, uh, gotta fix something about that. Wrestling School of Crown Dean Malenko as the new postgraduate champion. Online poll has identified Brian Danielson as the most reliable wrestler in the world. And he's also good at handing out fines. Wrestling Revolution has sunk below Super Lucha Libre to become the least popular brand of wrestling. Ratings of 77%. Very too spicy, your contract expired. We need to talk about your future. Give you some more. Give you some more money. Happy to sign the deal. Look forward to the next 12 weeks. Excellent. Gotta keep the tag champs happy. Anybody else who's being signed? Yes. Contract expired. IKEA coal off. So we need to talk about your future. Like your contract a bit. Increase your pay. Win bonus. I'm going to accept that deal like that, but those days are behind me now. All 
right. If give you a downside guarantee in 1800. Honest, I haven't enjoyed working here. It took more than that to convince me to stay. All right, to be fair, you haven't exactly gotten very. You haven't really gotten over. Next twenty weeks at two thousand dollars. Twenty two. If that works. Yep. Cool. See if I can get. See if I can get him a good. Uh, get him a good push going. Contract is expired, Moxie Brown. We need to talk about your future. One hundred per week. Bump you up twenty five hundred. I prefer to receive one hundred percent of my payment up front. I don't want to chase you up for money each week, dude. Money's good, but all right. So. Here, 2,500. It's 25,000 for 15 uh, for 10 weeks. Another half of that would be. Another half of that would be. Well, yeah. So, so $40,000 advance. Cool. The next 15 weeks. pay-per-view next time. We're already poised to kick Federation Online out of the Southeast U.S. with these numbers. Check what my roster availability is going to be next time. So Bruno San Martino is completely fucked up. Lamrock Shooter is also fucked up, so we're not going to have a women's title match on the card. Um, uh, oh, him. Victoria Hinks. What do I have left as... Yeah, Natalia is that it? I might need to uh might need to reach into the, the, the draft and find something. Or turn someone. Honestly, I was gonna turn Ivy Windsor, but she's uh still here. I meant to put I meant to put Rolls Royce Gracie. I don't know. We'll get something. Who's my most paid person? Fox of Ironclad, quote unquote Ric Flair. Plus, I don't have to worry about paying Moxie Brown. Yeah, it said Ivy Windsor's not good. Cameron, yeah, I was gonna say, they're all heels. I want to absolutely make sure. No, it says that she's here, so I don't know why it's saying she's not. I also want to know if I can maybe override some of that video stuff. Background, because he's added because uh, M Dickey's recent up, recent update added some more uh, video screen stuff, making it a more big fight feel. But anyway, that's going to be next time. Hopefully, it won't take me several months to do to do a. Uh, uh, yeah. An opening. Mess around with that. Blender and stuff. I do hope you enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed doing this again. Uh, I'm still having quite a few technical issues that I really wish I could better sort out, but uh, we'll figure it out one day at a time, I guess. <laughs>